paper. 1. Draw a high jump landing area. The ratio is 1 to 100. 2. Mark a specific takeoff point. 3. Draw a specific width of approach of a jumper, the X axis. 4. Draw a specific length of approach of a jumper, the Y axis. 5. Write down the distance from the first bar stand to the start point of the approach. Six. Using a protractor, calculate a specific final angle of jumper's approach. Seven. Draw a tangent at the final angle of jumper's approach. Eight. Put the sharp point of the compass on the tangent and draw a circle starting from the takeoff point. If the circular arc and the y axis do not join, move the compass until the joining point is found. Nine. Carefully measure the value of the open compass. This value is the radius of the curve. 10. Put the sharp point of the compass on the takeoff point and draw a line on the tangent. The point where the two lines intersect is the center of a fictional circle. 11. Using a ruler, draw a line between the center of the circular arc perpendicular to the y-axis. The joining point is called the start of the curve. 12. Calculate the length between the start of the curve and the x-axis. Finally, all data from above should be multiplied by 100 and written down in a notebook. In the actual high jump run-up area, the calculation and measuring process should look like this. First, a jumper determines his takeoff point and marks it. Then he measures the width of the approach, starting from the first bar stand. Some jumpers prefer to do the measurement with their own feet, others use a measuring tape which is more accurate. The next step is to measure the length of the approach. At this point, certain problems may occur since it's extremely difficult to set the length of the approach perpendicular at the right angle to the x-axis. Therefore, a second measuring tape is attached to the stand and stretched towards the specific value of the first measuring tape. The point where the values of the two tape intersect is called the start point of the approach. While the tape is still on the ground, a specific value of the start of the curve is determined. Then, the tape is attached to the start of the curve and stretched until it reaches the value of the radius of the circle. Using a piece of chalk, the jumper then draws an actual circular arc.
After that, the tape is attached to the takeoff point and stretched until it reaches the specific value of the radius of the circle. Again, the jumper draws an actual circular arc. The point where the two arcs intersect is called the center of the radius of the circle. Finally, the tape is attached to the center of the radius of the circle and the jumper is able to draw the actual curve from the start of the curve to the actual takeoff point. The complete approach is now designed and the training can start. Considering the fact that the approach is the most important part of the high jump, the aim of this film is to help athletes as well as coaches in designing an ideal specific approach which should enable them to achieve the maximum. The future lies in the young. Therefore, it is crucial to train properly from the very beginning. A precise training ensures excellent results and success as well. There should be no room for errors.